you can't keep putting in rules. We really have to have a much more robust process whereby machines uh, can understand how human values really work, uh, and so that they have uh, the common sense, not just the common sense about the physics of the world, but the common sense about the value system of the world uh, in order to be actually functioning uh, as domestic robots and other kinds of AI systems. So this is really going to um, require a change in the definition of AI, because up to now we've said that AI is about putting objectives into machines and then having uh, the AI software figure out how to achieve that objective on your behalf. And what I'm saying is that actually this is the wrong definition of AI. Uh, the definition should include the requirement that the AI system has to figure out the objective and understand what it's really supposed to be doing. Um, and the result would be a field where um, you can be sure, or fairly sure, that you will be happy with the results rather than just knowing that it will achieve your objective, because, of course, you can't specify the objective correctly, what we want is that you're happy with the results. And that's a, that's a significant change. And most of the other fields that deal with things like objectives, which include statistics, operations research, economics, control theory, they all suffer from the same problem. They assume that it's someone else's job to provide the objective. And it's the job of those fields to optimize the objective. And that's a mistake. Uh, so how are we going to do this? Um, first idea is that uh, the robot's objective is always going to be and only going to be the maximization of human values. The robot itself has no objective whatsoever. The robot does not care if it lives or dies. This is extremely important. The second thing, which is maybe even more important, is that the robot does not know what the human values are, does not know what the objective is precisely. It may know that you just said, please, could you fetch some coffee? But that doesn't mean that its sole objective in life is going to be to fetch coffee you know, at the expense of mowing down pedestrians who happen to get in the way and, and uh, assassinating anyone who threatens to take the coffee from the, from the robot on the way back to the person who asked for the coffee. Right? So, uh, as humans, we understand that fetch the coffee does not mean fetch the coffee at all costs, right? It means that I'd be somewhat happier if you could get me a cup of coffee, but I don't want you to assassinate pedestrians who get in the way, OK? <laughs> but we don't have to say that to each other because we already know that. But the machines don't. The machines need to understand all these things in order to, get, in order to behave reasonably. So the robot's uncertain about what the human values are. And then there's a third thing, which is, well, how does it find out it finds out over the long term by observing human behavior. This is the source of information about our value systems. We can say things, but they're probably mostly going to be wrong. Uh, but our actual choices do reflect, uh, to a large extent, what we really care about. 